Okay, so I was explaining about me no longer having my mixed plates, third plates, hot plates, none of that fancy, smancy equipment and I have to do everything by hand. But there are some workarounds to technology and uh, I guess it's low tech. Can't quite get this off. Here. So there's workarounds to some of these things. So I'm doing this by hand with a mason jar, but with the help of a sprout kit made for mason jars, you can somewhat automate this. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. I like a little bit warm and you can leave this in here for a while you can see it just tumbles it let's rinse all the soap out of it and I'm gonna add a little little bit of uh, Johnson's whenever I go to uh, put it in the bleach because it helps the bleach print penetrate down past the surface of the plant material and some some plants like Anubias I believe that they have bacteria in the outer layer. It may be beneficial for the plant. I don't know. Maybe it's just the nature of what it is. But it's harder to uh, decontaminate to get into culture. There are several plants that are like that. Goose. Goose is like that too. It's very hard to sterilize. You don't want to beat it to death. But you want it to be agitated nicely so that, that uh, you get the surface contaminant free. You get get the big stuff washed off. Some protocols call for for 20 or 30 minutes to do this. I usually don't do it that long. This this stuff was grown in uh, bins covered up inside in a grow grow house, so it's going to be relatively clean. But if you get something from outside or, or submerged in your aquarium, you might want to rinse it a lot lot longer because you're going to have a lot more uh, contaminants on it. Especially if it's underwater and under soil. And next, I'm going to put it in a, a sealed container with a 20% bleach solution. 